Hello, my name is Erin Offert, and I'm going to present a career profile on the Chemical Dependency Counselor. Um, I focus my work mainly on the hospital and treatment facilities, but I found that they can also work in outpatient centers, um, social service agencies, and private practice. Um, counselors work with individuals dealing with dependencies issue, um, dependency issues, obviously. Um, the house, the hours can be difficult since the focus is the need of the client. Um, in private practice, for instance, it, um, meetings might need to be scheduled at a time that's convenient with the client's work schedule, dealing with later hours. Um, in residential services, the shifts usually rotate since they need to be available for emergencies. Um, there is usually a, a, a crisis. There is usually a requirement for an on-call rotation. As far as the typical stressors that these counselors deal with, um, well, they deal with intense situations. There are long hours, uh, long hours of dealing with stressful problems in their clients. Dealing with the pain of addiction and its impact on families is rigorous emotional work. Um, in addition to this, the rotating schedules and the on-call schedules can also be stressful. Uh, the pay at times may be low, which may produce additional stressors to the individual trying to support a family. Um, common job, job tasks that the counselors would do. They would have the one-on-one -on -one counseling um, to help their client dealing with their addiction. They also might run group counseling. Uh, they can work closely with individuals with their treatment plans. Um, they also can work as a mediator for the client with the, um, excuse me, the families and work, work environments, etc. Um, documentation and tracking are also also common tasks. It always comes down to charting. Um, most job requires a bachelor's degree or an equivalent. I found that this kind of varied from state to state. Um, there also tends to be some standards of a some sort of certification. One that I found was the Chemical Dependency Counselor Certification Board. Um, there are other similar certifications. The starting salary range is twenty-five to thirty thousand. The experience salary range is fifty to sixty-two. I found a website that I that described what a counselor needs to to be. Um, they said that the counselor should be people, people with great communication and interpersonal skills. They must be empathetic and non-judgmental, as they will be dealing with large struggles, obviously. Um, they must also be emotionally strong. I thought this was interesting. Emotionally strong to be able to handle the setbacks in their clients um, because, of course, the road to recovery is a difficult one. Uh, I thought that was really interesting and a, um, a unique trait to have. So thank you very much for um, viewing my video, and I hope that anything you learned was helpful.